thing and have them at my pup so. Yeah. It was a big old mistake. I know, which I couldn't contact her to say it's going to because I've got my phone downstairs. Um, so, Judge would like you to cross off any people that are already named in number eight. Oh, now. yeah. Okay, that won't take that. And then, and when you, she's talking to Catherine. Okay. okay. And then anyone you know you're not going to call. Okay. Okay. And then she is going to do that. Okay. Perfect. Oh, perfect. Okay. All right, we are back on the record. Mr. Brooks, I was able to inquire. I, I've been told it, it would take maybe 15 minutes, but I'd like you to go to your cell to get whatever that list is that you have so that I can adequately advise the jury, potential jurors, um, about any witnesses who may be called in this case. I don't designate when I say if it's the state or the defendant, uh, but you told me you have that, so I'm gonna give you that opportunity. In the meantime, I'm gonna uh, print off the state's witness list. I don't need it. And give them to the state so that you can cross out any individuals who are already listed in question 89. We have that already and we're in the, we just started doing that. All right. Um, and, then, and then what I plan on doing is once I finish with all of the questions and the follow-up of this group, I will bring, and then we'll discuss if there are any additional strikes for cause, okay? Once I get through that, I'm going to bring in all of the jurors. So it, I'm gonna do an audible, we'll have to, uh, I know the press uh, has been here, you'll probably have to be in one back row together. There is the, the press room, the jury assembly room, if there's not enough room, um, there are, um, and we'll just figure it out from there. But I'm not closing the courtroom by any stretch of the imagination, but I need to, that's a long witness list. I need to make sure none of these jurors know any of these individuals, either personally or by reputation, work with any of them. Uh, but we should be able to do that, still maintain some room for victims, some room for the press. Um, and uh, we'll go from there. And Your Honor, just one other quick thing. I know that um, you, the, you asked the defendant if he had any questions that he wanted um, you to ask. I would just, the um, issue that he's brought up with being deaf in one ear, I'd also ask if he has any questions of yesterday's panel that maybe he's unclear or didn't hear anything, although he didn't notify anyone he was having trouble hearing. Um, he was answering questions in the other room without the headphones on. Um, actually, he was given the headphones. It, it took him a minute before he even thought to put them on. Um, but just to see also if he has any questions, obviously he's got to follow the Supreme Court rules, but if he wants to ask the jurors any questions, either from yesterday's panel or today's panel, um, any concerns that he may have about any of them. I, I would agree that that's a... Uh, good procedure to employ, uh, Mr. Brooks, so you'll be given that opportunity. I would note he does not have a headset on here. Um, I can make a further record that previously when, especially when I went through the waiver of right to an attorney, I realized that was in this courtroom, uh, but he uh, at times would answer, I hear you or I heard you. Um, and, uh, but Mr. Brooks, you're advised that if there are any follow-up questions on anything you didn't understand or you believe you didn't hear, uh, we will have all of the jurors at one point uh, that are remaining from yesterday and today brought in the courtroom. All of them have numbers um, and you'll be able to do follow-up that is appropriate. Um, now you also mentioned previously uh, when I reference going back to your cell to get the list, um, I'm giving you that opportunity. You asked me to do that. 
I did not ask you to do that. The question was, where was the list at? That's true. Um, so you said the list was in your cell. I'm advising you that I'll give you the opportunity I don't to go. Do that. Can I finish? I'm advising you that you um, are being given the opportunity, if you so choose, to go back to your cell to obtain the list of witnesses that you have been working on. Further advising you that if you choose not to do that, um, your, your one option would be to verbally tell the court uh, any additional names to what you've already provided. Um, write those down for the court so that either tell me now or write them down so that I can include them in the list of names I'm providing to the jurors. So how am I supposed to do that without the list in front of me? The list that you have in your cell? How am I supposed to do that without I'm the telling list? you, I, I'm giving you the opportunity I'm, to I'm go not, get that. I'm not so, going to go do that. Mr. Brooks, I'm not, I'm not going to play games with you. I'm, I'm giving not, you an I'm opportunity. Gonna, and I told you, you that I'm not going to do that. You either go to your cell and you get the list You said I have, have the opportunity to do that. Right. You said I have the opportunity. I'm, I'm not, not going, going to demand to do that. that you do it, but you have to understand, sir, that if you choose not to do that. I don't understand. I don't understand. All right, I've Mr. made Brooks. that clear. I don't you know how many to not understand, and that's been made very no, clear. I don't here, understand. Sir. You're so. not going to get me to consent to something that I don't consent to or agree to. I do no. not understand. All right. Just Mr. like Brooks, I don't we're understand take the nature a recess and cause so that the court is, is, can is, get this exactly information. Exactly like I've been telling state. you from the beginning. Okay, he's continuing with his disruptive behavior. It is his choice to do that. Mr. Brooks, you are hereby warned once again if you continue with that, you will be removed from the Remove courtroom. Me. Remove. Remove. Requesting to go to the other courtroom? Remove me. I told, I told you that before I even came over here. Sir, are you requesting to I go? I told you that before I even came over Mr. here. Mr. Brooks, are you that requesting? It, it was pointless for me to come over here. You can smile all you want and think it's I, funny. My, my I, don't, I don't take this as a joke. I don't take this as a game. You, my you preference have, you is for you able, to be you here. You expect me to answer all these questions that you have for me, Your Honor, but you have yet to answer one question that I've asked you. You have yet right. to verify anything You can take them back to the other uh, room that has been disruptive. You have even honored my request to make an offer for my, for my appeal. Thank you, ladies you and gentlemen. We'll have to exit the that. court right I don't now. agree to a stop when I move this court for a motion to dismiss. Well, the record should reflect that. The record should reflect that my, my rights are being trampled on. The record should reflect that, that I don't agree to a stop